I'm taking a stand on cutting cable and I'm going to show you how I designed it. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I designed the stand for this Android TV box. So a little bit of background. I'm a semi-cable cutter, and I've used Roku and a couple other devices in the past, but I've stumbled upon this Android TV. And in long story short, what it is, is an Android phone with an HDMI out that hooks to your TV set. And you see here you got uh, HDMI out, Ethernet, uh, some USBs, because it also works as a media server too. So very cool, super cheap, I think sub 30 bucks. As you can see here, it's got a Wi-Fi antenna, and that's really how I use it. And I've got a NAS connected to my network, and I stream from the internet too, and it really works great. However, the one thing is uh, this does have an IR sensor, so you have to have it in line of sight of the remote. So, you know, remote, you know, box. And so one of the pieces, you know, having it set low makes it difficult, especially the dogs will jump on the couch, get in front of it, blah, blah, blah. So what I decided to do is put it mounted on top of the TV. I'll now do a bit of an overlay so you kind of get an idea. So I wanted to design something up to 3D print uh, to allow me to do that. So this would sit on top of the TV, have a clear view, and also look a little bit attractive. So this is what I whipped up. I turned to Fusion 360, I whipped this up, and sort of long story short, I, I, I took the basic dimensions of the box, uh, used that as my base, decided I wanted to cantilever it over the front of the TV so it will sit um, on the unit sort of like this straighten my thing back out and the plugs will come out the back here and drape over and go down behind the tv and plug into the tv that's why i wanted in this orientation the other piece that i did was also uh, i wanted it needed it to be kind of beefy here because this is what's going to take the load as you see i've got two quarter 20 nylons and I made this a little bit larger than the TV, so it'd be flexible probably with a couple different TVs, and I'll upload this to Thingiverse as well as the Fusion model, so if you want to change it, you can. And so these cinch on there, so not a lot of force goes on this one per se. Uh, most of it will go back here. Now, the other piece that I did is I filleted um, uh, all these inside uh, 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 vertices to give it extra strength and that's the one real big thing I, I like about um, you know fusion is how easy it is to fill it now I'm gonna be doing some stuff on FreeCAD before you guys out there jump on me because I did put out this thing about fusion 360 a little while ago and I'm very close to making my decision so I'll look for another video on that but the filleting function is really really cool as far as that goes now the other piece is I also put this grid work in here because this guy does get a little bit warm. This is PLA. Um, and this probably might get warm enough to soften it if, if it didn't have a way to dissipate the heat. So uh, we're going to see. I might have to turn to do this out of Petchy, but I think, I think PLA will hold up. Uh, because sort of long story short, as I put this on here, this actually goes in this way, you notice this bottom piece air can now get in here and there's there's going to be a, a bit of a convex current because there is a gap here because there's some standoff feet so this will allow air to circulate around the unit which is actually uh, pretty good so I took that into account so just to kind of summarize uh, you know when you're designing something like this obviously cooling of the unit itself uh, material towards temperature demand um, you know, again, look at your stress points, your stress vertices, as I mentioned here with the fillets. I also did rounded to make this more aesthetic, plus a little bit safer for kids. And, you know, uh, since this will be at a higher level, you could walk into it. So, again, wanted to have rounded corners, makes it more attractive. Uh, I did use quarter 20s, easy to use. Um, I didn't use an insert. I simply tapped this. I've got enough meat here where th this will work perfectly fine. And again, I'm using nylon um, quarter 20s to avoid marring the back of the TV. Not a really big issue. You could also put felt in here. What I may, might also do is take some craft foam, laser cut it to put in here. I'll see how it goes. But again, that's something you could do. Or you could uh, get felt pads from the store, put them in here again to, you know, uh, 
you know, reduce or remove the chance of marring. Um, you could also do, you know, a type of finish on this. You could paint this with um, uh, basically uh, a dimensional spray paint. So I'll have a link to some of that below. I've did other videos on that, you know, with the stone finish, the rough finish, the sort of uh, metal. So yeah, Bob's your uncle when it comes to finishing. So this it's really cool. So hopefully uh, I gave you some ideas. So if you have something like this, because I will be doing another video about a USB mount, which I did uh, very similar to this in an upcoming episode, which would be handy. And I'll also have that out on Thingiverse if you guys want to get a hold of it and do the same. Um, but anyways, hopefully you were inspired by this. It gave you some ideas to get out there, design some things, you know, stop printing the figurines and koozies and start making 3D printing a useful addition to your tool set. Uh, don't forget, Swag Shop's up there. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you got the bell notifications going because I'm getting regular content out there. And uh, hey, I'll see you in the next video where we design something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.